I'm floating in space. I'm floating in space. Very good. Tell me more. What colors do you see in space? It's dark. Dark. Very dark. good. But I see stars all around me. Mm -hmm. Now what are those stars doing? Just there, mm -hmm. shining. And as you float, take a look and see if any of these stars catch your attention. What do you feel from these stars? I think there's a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Behind me. There's a spaceship behind you. So I'd like for you to turn around and take a look. What does it look like? It's big. Mm -hmm. It's big. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of following me. It's following you. How do you feel about this spaceship following you? Okay. Mm -hmm. What does the spaceship look like? What shape is it in? I can only see the front. Mm -hmm. It's big as pointy. And pointy. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to focus on yourself and tell me, as you're floating through space, do you have a body? Yeah. What does your body look like? Like myself. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see where you're going to go today. Where are you heading? Venus. Venus, very good. So allow yourself to go through time and space very quickly. In space there is no time. So allow yourself now to be close to Venus. And tell me what you see. I'm, I'm like, like in the jungle. In the jungle, very good. Yeah, I see a lot of plants. Mm -hmm. They're not big trees, though. It's, it's open. It's, There's a lot of open land? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a lot of vegetation. Okay. Tell me more. And uh, can I see like a path? You see a path? Yeah. Mm hmm. Describe this path for me. What is it made out of? It's one of those paths that, you know. are made where a lot of people walk on it, mm -hmm. and it's, it's like a natural path. A natural path yeah. through the vegetation? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so I'd like for you to see yourself on this path, and tell me if you have a body now. Yes, I do. What does this body look like on Venus? It looks different. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. Start with your feet. Look at your feet. My feet look different. My, I have like three, three toes. Three toes. Mm -hmm. With claws. On. With claws. And I'm like purplish. Purplish. Pinkish. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your body looks like. What shape is that body in? Um, 
not human. Not human. How can you describe yourself? Look at your skin, for example. What does this purplish pink skin consist of? My my hands are different. Uh, my hands are different. Tell me more. I got claws. I have claws. Mm hmm. Um, How many fingers do you have? Five. Mm hmm. Five fingers. Five fingers with long claws. With long claws. What's the rest of you look like? I, I can't see my face. Mm -hmm. So what's your body look like? You can wrap your arms around your body and tell me what it feels like. Feels good. I, I think I have wings. I have wings. Mm -hmm. Long wings. I just... Just standing my way. Mm hmm When I can fly. You can fly. Do you have a human shape? Yeah. Mm hmm I'm standing on two feet. Mm hmm So go ahead and begin to fly and tell me what you do. Where do you go? I just fly and um Tell me everything you see from your perspective. I, I, I see like a mountain. Like a mountain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like I'm flying above the vegetation. Mm -hmm. I see a mountain. Mm -hmm. What's on this mountain that's important? It's just... It's, it's kind of like the only mountain rock. Mm -hmm. uh, then so. Mm hmm What else do you see? Are there any like you around you? No. So let's find out a little bit about you. Let's find out where it is that you live. Where do you spend most of your time? I want you to close that scene and be in the place where you live. I see a cave in the mountain. I see a cave. Mm -hmm. Describe this cave for me. Like a natural formation mm -hmm. in the mountain. Uh, on the side. Mm -hmm. and Open doesn't have a door mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just open. Uh, so tell me what it looks like inside. Feels like home. Feels like home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself in there? Mm hmm. I didn't have a tail. Okay, take a look at yourself. What does your tail look like? Like a reptile tail. Mm hmm What else do you notice about yourself? What does your face look like? Like a... Uh, like a reptile. Mm hmm uh, Kind of like a Komodo dragon. Like a Komodo dragon. Yeah. Mm hmm With rings. Yeah. Mm hmm Are you male or female? I'm a male. Male. How old do you feel there? 
ทำทำอะไรกับมัชชูร์แมวทำมัชชูร์แมวฮึฮึ I don't know how old mm-hmm. very good is there anything important from that cave that you see there My family. Your yeah. family. Okay. Describe your family for me. How many do you see? I see. I see my partner. Mm-hmm. She's like me. Mm-hmm. I love her. Mm-hmm. And I miss her. Connect with her now. She's happy to see me. Mm-hmm. What does she tell you? Connect with her telepathically. She says, "Welcome back." Mm-hmm. She hugs me. Mm-hmm. And I think t h e r e think we have kids. You have kids. All right. Let's find out how many kids you have. I see two. Mm-hmm. Are these small children? Yeah, they're kind of half our size. Mm-hmm. Are they male or female? One's male, one's one's female. Mm-hmm. How do you feel seeing your children? I'm so happy that. They just came and jumped on me. Mm-hmm. And they're happy to see me. Mm-hmm. They're so happy to see me. Connect with them telepathically and feel. Feel them. Can you see their eyes? Not too clear. Mm-hmm. Well, I want you then to use your senses, because we can tell when we meet a soul if we've known them before. Do you feel like you know these souls from the lifetime of Antonio? Do you recognize these souls? Hmm. No. No. Very good. Take a look around this cave. Are there any other family members? No. Mm-hmm. But there's like some furniture. There's furniture there. Yeah. What does it look like? It's like a space that looks like a bed. Mm-hmm. And it's. Like an open, round space. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are no walls. Mm-hmm. I see some utensils around. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to see yourself eating a meal. Close the scene and see yourself eating a meal. Where are you? I'm still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm here. I'm eating like a leg of something. Mm-hmm. What does this leg look like? Like a raw, raw meat. Raw meat. Yeah, mm-hmm. something that. I, like I hunted that. You hunted it. Very yeah. good. So I want you to see now in your mind's eye what kind of a being it was that you hunted and are eating now. What does it look like? It looks like a weird animal. Mm-hmm. 
and with big legs, mm -hmm. small arms. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I have like a, it's, that's like a table and a plate, but it's not good. Mm -hmm. You just eat it raw? Yeah. Okay, good. Who's eating with you? Anybody else? Yeah, my family was well, mm -hmm. well, eating. Very good. So I'd like for you now to just get the sense of what it's like to be there with your family. Take it in. Enjoy it. Enjoy their company. Sharing. And now we're going to move forward in that lifetime. Let's close the scene and go to another time in that same lifetime when something important has happened. Be there now. Where are you? There, but there's like a fire going. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. What's happening? I'm uh, I'm at the entrance to the cave, and I see a fire going outside. What Com do you coming coming towards me? Uh huh. What do you do? I uh, I don't know what to do. I feel like I have to protect my family. Mm hmm. So what happens next? Describe what happens. I feel a fire going over me. Mm -hmm. I'm down. Burning. Detach yourself from that body. Tell me what happens. View it. I died. Mm -hmm. I got it. My body got burned. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to detach from that body and let's find out where your spirit goes. What happens as you leave that body? Floating. Mm -hmm. As you float away from that body, look back at that lifetime. What was that purpose of that lifetime? It feels like it's where I come from. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to drift away and tell me what happens. Where do you go? Just floating again in mm -hmm. the space. Look around you. Are you by yourself? Or are there others with you? I feel like someone is watching me, but I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel this watching come from? From a boat. Mm -hmm. Like someone's watching down over me. Mm -hmm. Look up and see who's watching you. Go towards this. It's big. It's big. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. I'm like, he's, 
I, I'm the size of his head. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if he's human or a robot. Mm-hmm. What does he look like? He looks... He looks like an Olmec uh, head. Mm-hmm. One of those huge heads that mm-hmm. the Olmecs like carve mm-hmm. into the stone. Mm-hmm. Does it have a type of helmet on it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. And they have like a strong facial features, like a wide nose. Mm-hmm. So uh, as you get close to this head, does it feel like this is a being? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you connect with this being? Connect with it telepathically and let's find out why you're there. Who is it? He says he wants to show me my my path. Mm-hmm. What does he do? He grabs me mm-hmm. and puts me next to his side. Mm-hmm. What happens next? We are, he says, let's go fly. Mm -hmm. We're flying in space. What do you see? We're going back to Earth. Mm -hmm. Describe what you see on Earth. We are back on um, the area where I was born. Mm-hmm. And he says that I was an Olmec. The first time I came to Earth. Mm-hmm. You were an Olmec? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So allow him to see you yourself there. What do you look like? I look like normal people. Mm-hmm. How big are you? Not normal size. Normal size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me what it is that you're wearing. I have a one of those helmets Mm -hmm. and what are those helmets used for? To communicate. Mm -hmm. Who are you communicating with? Uh, to each other, telepathy. Telepath. Mm-hmm. So the helmet allows you to communicate? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many do you see? Is it just you or there are other? There are others, but like a small group. Mm-hmm. What are you doing in that area of Mexico? We live there. Mm-hmm. We uh, work. We like it in there. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What is important for you to see? Life is good. Life is good. I like it. Mm-hmm. 
What do you do there? Just live. Just live? Yeah, we don't... I don't have a mission or anything, I'm just... Just... Just happy with living in there. Mm-hmm. And we build things. What do you build? Build like small things where we live. Mm-hmm. What do you build these things with? Uh, we use things around us, branches from trees. Mm-hmm. And what is it that made you come to this area? Are you from Earth? No, it feels like it's, that's my first incarnation on Earth. Mm-hmm. And your first incarnation, did you bring with you all of these devices? Take a look and see how you began your life on Earth. Were you born there or did you just arrive there? I arrived there. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you arrived there. I'd like for you now to see yourself going back in time to how you and your group arrived in that area. What do you see? Mm. I don't know, I feel like, feel like, they, I feel like they came with a group of mm -hmm. people, but I don't, I don't know how. Okay. You were just there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, when you're there on Earth, are there any natives there? Anyone that's not like you? Take a look around. Yeah, I feel like there are more groups of people. They're not like where we are, but mm -hmm. I feel like there's more tribes. There's more tribes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And you say you wear these helmets. Do you wear anything else on your body that's different? Look at your body and see. I feel like uh, I have like a like a suit, mm -hmm. like a, like a body suit. A body suit. Kind of like kind of like the surfers use. Mm -hmm. But eventually, we took it out and because it was hot. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, a body suit? Yeah. Like a surfer's body suit? Something like that. But it's very hot? But, yeah, eventually in time we, the weather was hot and we took it out and we just wearing something around, uh, around our waist. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's close that scene and let's find out what happens in that life. I'd like for you now to go to a moment in time, in that lifetime, that you needed to see what's happened, what's important. Where are you? Um. We were attacked and someone killed me. Mm -hmm. Someone with a knife. It's cut my throat. And cut your throat. Yeah. 
So allow yourself to detach from that body. Detach yourself from that body. And look back at that lifetime. What did you need to see from that lifetime? What was this Almec showing you? Bless you, sir. This was just my first incarnation Mm -hmm. in there. Very good. So let's see what happens to your spirit now. Where do you go? Allow yourself to drift and float through time and space. What do you see? What do you experience? <clears throat> just floating back in the in space mm-hmm. black again it's not actually space just it's floating and it's black around mm-hmm. through time yeah mm-hmm. so allow yourself to float through that time to another important lifetime Something that you need to see here today. Allow yourself now to begin seeing the images of this lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? What's the first thing that comes into your mind? I'm in a, in a in a boat. I'm in a boat. Yeah, like an old, uh, all those old wooden mm-hmm. boats. How large is this boat? Is it a small one or a large one? It's uh, during that time it was large. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it a group of people. A group of people? Mm-hmm. Now what are you doing on this <clears throat> ship, on this boat? Um, part of the crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take a look at yourself. What do you look like? You look like a pirate. Mm-hmm. Allow yourself to Acclimate yourself to that body completely. Look down at your feet. Look at your hands. Feel yourself there. How old are you? Well, probably in my late twenties, thirties. Mm-hmm. What is it that you're doing there? I'm like the top of that post mm-hmm. looking for looking around for other ships what's the reason you're looking for the other ships we live in the sea and we're pirates mm-hmm. Very good. So allow yourself now to close that scene and let's go to a very important scene from that life when something happens. Be there now. Where are you? What's happening? Our ship got attacked and I'm destroyed. I'm, 
I'm in the water. Mm-hmm. What happens in the water? Just trying to survive. Mm-hmm. So connect with your emotions. What are you feeling? I I feel like I feel like I'm okay, like, I know I'm gonna die, and mm-hmm. I knew it was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I guess it's time. Mm-hmm. So what happens next? I drown. Detach yourself from that body completely, leaving that body there. As you look at that life, what was the purpose of that life? Just experience life. Mm-hmm. Good. Do you feel like you did that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you learn any lessons from that life? I learned how to live in the water mm-hmm. and see. Good. So let's find out what happens next. Where does your soul go after leaving that pirate there to drown? What do you see next? Where are you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to drift and float through time and space to another time and another place that you need to see. What do you see you need to see today? I hear the word England. England, very good. Tell me about this. Allow yourself to follow that word. I'm like one of those old, uh, fancy parties, like in medieval England. Mm-hmm. You're at a fancy party? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you look like? Are you male or female? I think I'm a female. Mm-hmm. Take a look. I have like a big wig. A big wig. Mm-hmm. And a dress. And a dress. What color is your dress? Pink and white. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? I'm young. I'm in my twenties. Twenties. Mm-hmm. What's What's the occasion for this party? I don't know. It's people dancing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's find out a little bit about yourself. What do they call you? Listen for your name. Marie. Marie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like like I meet someone. You're meeting someone. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. someone. Mm-hmm. Let's find out who you the, meet. Tell me everything you see. I feel like it means someone who's gonna become my my husband. Mm-hmm. And there. Uh, mm-hmm. 
and uh, we were in a family. All right. So allow yourself now to see who this man is. I hear Joseph. Joseph. Mm-hmm. Look at Joseph's eyes. Take a look at his eyes. He has blue eyes. Mm -hmm. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes? Do they seem familiar in the lifetime of Antonio? That soul is my song now. Mm -hmm. You'll know it. You'll recognize the soul. Make the connection. Feel it. And let's find out what happens with Joseph. I'd like for you to advance that scene and see what happens in the lifetime that we're looking at with Joseph. So we are married and we have a family. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your husband? Happy. Mm -hmm. It's a good life. Mm -hmm. he, we, we live in a big house. Mm -hmm. What does your husband do for a living? He's like in charge of something. Mm -hmm. He, he dresses really nice and it's like we are on it's like we live in this village and we are the uh, our family is the one in charge. Mm -hmm. Very good. Look at yourself. How are you dressed there? Dressed really nice. And mm -hmm. I didn't do any labor or anything. Yeah. Very good. Always clean. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just take care of my family. So let's close the scene and go to a special day in that lifetime when something very important happens. Be there now. What do you see? I see my son. He's, he's, he just became a dad. Mm-hmm. And I'm really happy. How old do you feel there? I'm old. Mm-hmm. I'm just happy to be my son and happy to be a grandma. Wonderful. So let's close that scene now and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Be there now. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. I'm all. Can't move. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or are there others there with you? There's people around me. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? Uh, I think my family is there and there's, there's someone who takes care of me. 
break me water or whatever. Mm -hmm. They take care of you? Yeah. I... Mm -hmm. Are these your servants? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to take your last breath. Take your last breath in that lifetime. And detach yourself from that body. That was nice. Mm -hmm. I, I die peacefully. Mm -hmm. And with my family holding my hand. Mm -hmm. So how does that lifetime have anything to do with the lifetime now of Antonio? How is it affecting him? I just feel that I make connections that are still going on right now. Mm -hmm. Now, Antonio came into this life very differently than in the lifetime of Marie. Yeah. Why did he choose to come into this lifetime with different status? What did he need to learn in this lifetime? He needs to remember. Mm. What does he need to remember? Who he is. Who is he? He's a powerful being. Mm. Can you tell him about that? He needs to unleash his power. To unleash his power? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why has he kept it at leash? Why has he kept it? To himself. Because he doesn't know he has it. What kind of power is it that he has? What is this power? You showed him his life on Venus. You showed him his life as an Olmec in Mexico area. What is it that he needs to do in this lifetime? He needs to he needs to learn how to use his power so he can change mm -hmm. he can help change this world he did he come here to change this world he came to help mm. can you tell me a little bit about that what is he helping with? Just being here, his energy. Mm -hmm. What kind of energy does he have? Reptilian energy. Mm -hmm. And how is the reptilian energy going to help? Negative energy, reptilian energy have 
have done a lot of damage in this planet. The negative energy has done damage to this planet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he... He can bring balance. He can bring balance. He can bring positive, rutila energy. Hmm. He can transform the negative reptilian energy into positive. He can transform the, the negative reptilian energy into the positive. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He How? can heal that. He can heal that. Why has he come here to Earth at this time? What's the importance of this time being here on this mission? Could he not have done that in a different lifetime? No. What's happening now that his power is necessary? Right now, everything is aligning. Hmm. Right now, The energy is changing, and he can't connect. And he can connect? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is he connecting to? To his own source. Hmm. What happens when he connects? How will that feel? That is his mission. That's his mission. To connect? To connect. Uh -huh. Does he know how to do that? He does not, but we are guiding him. Okay. Can you tell me who it is that is guiding him? Higher self. Okay. So if you're guiding him, I know that you showed him the lifetime on planet Venus. What is the importance of Venus to him? He felt it once during a ceremony. That is where he became conscious being hmm. where he went from animal to being Now he saw himself as a type of, perhaps like a dragon person? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is his connection to them? Does he, is he still connected? He always going to be connected. Okay, so how can he use this connection with the dragon's energy? That energy makes him powerful. Okay. So is he going to be guided to learn how to use this? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the location where he was born? Why did he have to go back to be born in the same place where he was there as an Olmec? Is there a reason? He 
he came to earth. That was the first place. That's that area. It's special for mm. him. It is. What is it about this area that's so special? When he came to her, he fell in love with it, with the area mm -hmm. and some of his energy is still there. Okay. And every time he Every time he's there, he's, he's, he connects with that part of himself. Hmm. But it seems that right now he cannot go to that place. Will he ever be able to go back? He will, he will eventually. He will eventually? But the most important thing is that he was born there. Okay. He just needed to be born there to have that connection. Okay. In this, in this body, in this, this body. incarnation. What is it that he got from that place? That he was so necessary that he be born there. Part of himself is there. Okay. Now, when you say part of himself, is it part of his soul? As the Olmec? Can you describe what that means? Part of him is there. When he died, he was confused and couldn't he couldn't go beyond mm -hmm. and he wandered around as a spirit and Eventually he moved on, but a part of his soul remained there. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing that it remains there? Or does it need to move on to? He just needed to be born again in oh. there. Okay. So he could reclaim that. That part of that soul? That part, yeah. Okay. So if that part of that soul is from that Olmec, what's the rest of his soul from? Does he have two different types of souls? Or did he pick up the soul of the Olmec? He got it by. He got it back. Yeah. Okay. So what did he need to live in this existence as that old Mac, as that soul? What did that old Mac part of him need to do? He just needed that part back, so he could be whole again okay. and stronger. Okay. So how does his soul look now? Is it strong? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So now that his soul is strong, he'd like to become more abundant. And we saw that as the life of Marie, he was very abundant. Why did he choose this life to start off 
with very little abundance. He needed to learn some lessons for it. When you're born into wealth, sometimes you can't grow, you can't learn certain lessons. Mm -hmm. But he's ready now. He's ready now. What's holding him back for find, for having the abundance that he deserves? He just needs to wait. Okay. It will come. It will come. Now he always sees orbs when he's out at night and he feels a presence who seems to be looking at him. When he was a lot younger, about 12 years ago, he saw a gray alien come through his window. What's going on here? He's being watched. Who's watching him? Who it, let's see who it is and why they're watching him. Follow it and see. Who is watching him? I don't know who, but they come from this spaceship. They come from the spaceship. Whose spaceship is that? Is that a spaceship from Earth or a spaceship from outside of Earth? I hear Pleiadians. Pleiadians. What do they want with him? Protect him. Protect him. What does he have to do with the Pleiadians? Friends. They're friends. Are those the ones that came to him 12 years ago and gave him some sleep paralysis? They look like greys. No. Are those different? That one was different. Okay. So let's find out first about the Pleiadians. What connection does Antonio have with the Pleiadians? I'd like for you to take him now to that connection. What do you see? They're old friends. They're old friends. Was he ever from the Pleiades? No, but felt like he might have lived in there. He might have lived there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So would you please find out by showing Antonio if they made some sort of agreement to help him during this lifetime? Yes. Okay. Let's find out what that agreement was. The green man is to protect him because he brings, he anchors this special kind of energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Good. So is there anyone that perhaps would not want him to anchor this energy? Let's scan now his life and his soul memory to see if he has been contacted by some that would want to not have him anchor that energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show this to Antonio in vivid scenes and tell me who it is. Reptilians. Mm -hmm. Have they contacted him? They want to imprison him. Mm -hmm. Have they succeeded in gaining access to him before? Yes. In what way? They they put implants. They put implants in him. Yeah. Where did they, where are these implants? They come through the food. Through the food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a look at his body and tell me where these implants are. What do they look like? He you seems to be clear. He seems to be clear. Okay. So how did he remove these implants? In ceremony. In ceremony, okay. So what can he do now to protect himself in the future? He who has this reptilian positive energy. He knows what to do. Very good. He knows what to do. So what can we do today to activate that amazing energy that he came here to activate and to implement? Can you give him a feeling of what that energy would be like? He has felt it before. He has felt it before. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Can we so get him to feel this amazing energy again, without having to use anything, any ceremonies or any medicine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just has to believe. He has to believe. Has to call it forward. Mm -hmm. Is he ready to call it forward now? He's been ready. He's been ready. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and count from one to three. When I get to number three, I will tap your head and I will ask you, are we ready? One, two, and three. Antonio, are you ready now to finally use that energy that you came here to use to balance 
to ground, to use this reptilian energy to make changes. Are you ready to accept this energy now? Yes, I am. Very good. So take a deep breath in. And let's begin now to connect. And tell me where you see this energy flowing through you. Does it have a color? Gray black. Gray black. Mm -hmm. yeah. And where is this energy stored? My chest. All right. What do we need to do with that energy in order to connect it with source? Gotta learn how to call and use it. I gotta learn how to how to work with it. All right. So let's connect now. I'm gonna to touch the top of your head. I want you to connect that energy with that heart, that that crown chakra, and let's bring in that light from source directly in, so it will connect with that energy within your chest. Feel that little energy as it comes in through the crown of your head, and tell me what color is coming in through the crown of your head. White. White. Very good. And as it hits your chest, tell me what it ha what happens. They mix together in this bowl of energy. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens to that energy in your chest. What do you do with it now? Allow it to get bigger and bigger. What do you do with it now? I feel it. Mm -hmm. Make it more powerful. Feel it in every cell of your body. This is your power. Keep making it stronger and stronger. I expand it out even more. I'm afraid. Let's see what happens. I'm afraid to use it. Let's see what would happen. I'd like for you to use your insight to move forward in time and see what happens with that energy. How is this energy used? It is for good. Very good. Are you ready now to accept? Yes. Very good. Keep connected to Source, and I'd like for you now to connect yourself to the Earth. Ground yourself to the Earth. Allow that light to go down into Mother Earth and ground you. So you are like a rod connected both to Source and Earth. And let's see what happens as you begin to use that power. Send it out with the intentions, the good intentions that you came here with. Power can only be used with intention. This power is to be used to change the world, to convert the negative energy to positive. With this energy, the earth can be healed, and all the souls on it can feel the love associated with this.
Use this energy to align. By connecting to Source and Mother Earth, you could feel that energy go out. Tell me what's happening. I'm connected. Mm -hmm. Explode the energy out. Feel the love that goes with it. and see if there's any areas of your body that are not allowing that energy to flow. Yes. Where is it? When I send uh, my energy can be mm -hmm. can be felt by the negative reptilian mm -hmm. and they can't find me. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid of that. You have the energy to also seal your aura. So I'd like for you now to bring in the golden light through the crown of your head and seal yourself in that bubble of golden light from head to toe, sealing the aura the most powerful light, that white gold light. Tell me what happens. That's why I wear gold. Because mm -hmm. it protects me. So use that light to protect you now. You cannot be afraid when you are that powerful. You have the same power. What happens now? I need to learn how to use it. Very good. So I'd like to ask for a guide on Antonio's behalf to assist him with learning how to use his power. Can we give, begin now to download some of that information into his mind so that when he sleeps he can figure it out and allow himself to know how to use his power. Can I we ask for that guide please? Yes. Very good. So what are these orbs that he sees at night? His galactic friends. His galactic friends, good. So I'd like to ask, why is it that you brought Antonio here today? You showed him the life of this flying being from Venus. You showed him the pirate, the Olmex, and the life of Marie. Why did you show him all of this? What was the purpose of this visit today? What did he need to know? Changes are coming. Mm -hmm. Tell him about those changes, please. New life is going to begin for him. A new life will begin for him. Mm -hmm. A better life. Show him that life. Give him a glimpse of what it looks like.
Give him the feeling of that life, what it feels like to be in that future version of him. Do you have any messages for him? Something that I didn't ask that you would like to tell him? To trust. To trust. He's very connected. Very connected, very good. But he doubt himself. Mm -hmm. He can, he listens. Mm -hmm. But then he doubts. So how his will his life change once he stops doubting and begins to trust in that voice that guides him? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's all good. It's all good. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Thank you. Wow. How do you feel? Pretty great. Let's, let's let's switch those stones so I can ground you. You feel great. Yeah. Did you expect anything like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> wow. Does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Well, some of some dozen. Uh, the Olmex, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Your head's not even that big. <laughs> <laughs> I remember visiting, uh, you know, going to one of those uh, yeah. when I was like six or seven. Mm -hmm. I'm being like, wow. Mm hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. But I never imagined that. <laughs> that I was one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of changes things, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. And the dragon, as soon as you saw the... It was like a dragon person, no? It was like a dragon person, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, it was like a dragon, but in like You had human. a human form, yeah. yeah. With a tail? With a tail. Was the tail the big wings. or small? Big. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, but it looked like a, like a Komodo dragon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I would sort of uh, the dragon being black. Mm hmm. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It was like purple, pink. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And then when you saw your wife, she was very touched that you were home. Like, you've been gone for a while. Oh, my God, I got a little emotional. Yeah. I almost cry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I it's think like you recognize her soul. Yeah. And um, the, I, I think that was the most emotional part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's unfinished business there. Oh, I like just maybe felt, I felt like I missed that miss place. I missed her. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. 
So, is this something you want to share? Or you want to keep private? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <To> you. <laughs> you don't have to. We don't have to post it. You want to keep it private? Can Can I see it first? Of course. And then get back to you. Absolutely. Hey. How was it? Was great. It was awesome. I I I, I still I can wrap my head around it. So. How long do you think that this session was? It just felt like, yeah, like I said, 15, 20 minutes. 15 minutes, and it was actually an hour and a half. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Do Amazing. You, what did it feel like to be hypnotized? <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. I, I was very relaxed. Uh-huh. Um, in peace and uh, just, you know, I like, was very comfortable too. Uh, good. Yeah, it felt really good. It felt really good. Um, I, I didn't have any expectations. Uh, were, you, were you able to see clearly? Because some people can't see. Some parts I was and mm -hmm. some parts I had to like, um, you know, kind of like Focus? Focus a little more. Mm -hmm. uh, did yeah. it feel like you were making it up or did it feel like your imagination? What did it feel like? Well, uh, I just, what I did is first I, I wanted to see what was happening mm -hmm. so I could say it because uh, uh, I didn't want to make up anything. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So um, when I was like kind of like quiet, it was because I was tight seeing it or like trying to mm -hmm. make sense of what I yeah. was seeing. Yeah, trying to, yeah. to understand it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. But you saw very vividly, I mean, the claws and... I saw the claws, yeah, mm -hmm. like big, long ones. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and what did this energy feel like at the end? Oh my God, it's just... <laughs> it, it, it feels like... like, like like a bomb that you know <laughs> could explode uh -huh. in any moment yeah. yeah and i was feeling something from you during the session i was almost feeling like it was it was like uh, yeah. like uh, i don't really want to let this go but i could almost <laughs> feel it like <laughs> really? like pulsing yeah but you didn't want to let it go i didn't want to let it go because first i was afraid yeah um because i don't know i mean i was afraid like to have no control about it <laughs> Yes. And then I was afraid because, uh, I, I, you know, um, if I let my energy out, they can sense it mm -hmm. and they can come get me. That's so there's fear there. Yeah. There, there was but that's fear. what you have to work on. Yeah. Because you can't be, you can't be mm -hmm. sending out your power with fear because yeah. they come because it's fear. It's fear based. When you put your stuff out with confidence and with mm -hmm. love, I mean that's the opposite. Yeah. So that's what what you were told. You got to start working on that to learn how to do that. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. So if there's anybody out there who can help them. Yes, <laughs> so uh, do you recommend this kind of experience to other totally. people? Totally. Yeah, yeah. I do recommend it. So right now we're in in Oakland, California, and how far far are you from here? Uh, about an hour from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, south. From open. Yeah. Yeah. So was it worth it? It was. Every single penny, every single minute, it was <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So if you want a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page. There you will find a link to subscribe to my newsletter. It's the only way that I make appointments. That's how you got it. That's how I got lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can get lucky too uh, by just subscribing and clicking on that link as soon as you get the web the um, newsletter. It's going to come out about once a month, and uh, be fast, be really, really fast to get it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. I did. It was really different. I did too. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start looking at those uh, Olmec pictures now. <laughs> 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 and uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. And be fast. Be, be fast. really fast. Be really fast. Give me that hug. <laughs>